And so before you hooked up with Slow Tie, you worked on the music for this, I'm assuming. Or did you? No. no. Right, OK. It was all, all right. in the room. Assumption is such a dangerous thing. So it was all in the room then? Yeah. So t- tell us what happened. Well, I try and do that as much as possible because it just makes for a better song, I think. I think when people imagine producers in the way that someone might call me a producer, they imagine a, a beat gets made and then it gets sent to a vocalist and they like put a vocal on it and then maybe they email it back and then that's sort of it. But I don't really want to work that way. I want to try and sort of create something a bit warmer, more more wholesome. Not to say that that process I just described doesn't happen, but with this one I thought it was really important to do it in the room between us. Um, having said that though, I did sort of prep in the week before the session about sort of thinking about what I wanted him to do. Um, and I think it was my girlfriend who said, we were listening to uh, The Stranglers, you know that song Peaches? Yeah. And um, we were listening to how he's delivering the vocal and um, my girlfriend was like, oh, Slow Tie should do a song like this. And I immediately was just like, yes, and I will be the one to make it with him. Um, and so that was the attitude going in. It's like, Slow Tie shouldn't be rapping. It should barely have any sort of hip hop about it. It should entirely be focused on making him into sort of a weird punk front man. Um, and that's where the idea just to improvise the whole thing came from. So, I mean, I've got with me like 10 minutes of, of the the improvisation that we did. Wow. I mean, we're not going to sit through all of it. No, but it would be great to hear some of it. Well, this is just one, this is like the first take. So I'd laid down the bass line, the drums, I think um, a little bit of guitar as well, and just sort of set it looping, you know, 16 bars. And um, I just I just set it recording and I was like, I'll just go for it. Just don't, don't think about it. Just start rapping. I'm not rapping. Start shouting and talking and... He sort of develops this weird character like as he goes on. So this is like the second 10-minute take that we did, I think. Right. And and you created all those tracks while he was there in the room with you? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah. We, we sort of... So he, he, he could hear their evolution and hear them being put, put yeah. down. And so he's already kind of getting into the, the vibe, as it were. Exactly. I think that's a really important part of it is like as he's hearing me come up with the bass line and stuff, he's bouncing off it. And, mm. Yeah. But it culminates in this weird, like, yeah, he's, <laughs> I, I, will I just play some yeah, of it? Yeah, please do. Let's see. Wake up feeling complacent. I step outside and see the rain falling on my fucking toe cap. I was still as the shoes were, but kicking in front doors. Waiting, waiting for an applause of the local knobhead. Nobby's not stone crack enough for me, son. I was waiting. Waiting patiently in vain like my name's Bob Bob you soggy Spongebob twat Soaking up everything you never had It's mad how loud So he's just coming up with that off the top of his head Or had he written anything this, down? Or? No, the whole thing is improvised That's so good And like the, the fact that we had like 20 minutes And we managed to hone it down into this tight three minute thing And also the whole idea of like deal with it I think he mentions it once in this whole sort of 20 minutes and it was something that I had latched onto and been like we should follow that that thread because it's really interesting and then we went back and sort of rewrote a melody to the hook and stuff but it's all the whole song is just elements of what he was improvising right and so then did you get him to redo bits or no no right no I so even to... the de- deal with it kind of come becomes a chorus no he didn't no no I, th- right. I mean if you if we heard the whole 10 minutes, we would hear the, the inception of those three words. But yeah, I can tried... We, can you find them? I mean, scrolling through, like... Yeah. Let's have a look. Shit stain on the hilltop of the life And the pipe is willing that's so good. Wise up, wise up. Not myself, piss stain, stink like. Give a slag cause our bag is the fake Gucci rip from the Chinese lad that comes in with a DVD. It's all so good. It is. I mean, it's a great illustration of, of how creative he is, how fantastic he is. It's so good. There's a bit at the end. I'm buzzing. Wait. Where is it? At the pearly gates. 
Every second you waste is a second closer to fucking Dante's Inferno. That's quite close to Jono, something he says on the track. Yeah. Journal, so flicking through these old images made me feel so, so. And it was Wednesday when the seafood medley had me like the Adams family, because I'm the odd one out. Black <laughs> sheep, black sheep. Track team running. I'm buzzing because I dealt with it and they didn't deal me nothing. I was clubbing, there was something in there. rubbing, yeah. shoulders with a... That was Upper it. class. <laughs> champagne, champagne, champagne. More. Bottle, bottle. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sat there like shouting at him and sort of getting him yeah. riled up. Yeah, but that's that's the second take. The first take was 10 minutes as well. And then there was a third bit that we did where I'd taken out the, the two or three lines, like walking back through my old estate. I see my mates, my mates and all that. And I just said, just do that a couple more times, but in different sort of voices. I think I've got mm. them in this session here. Let's have a look. Yes. Yeah, like all this stuff. I just got them to do it a couple of different times. Fuck, deal with it. Just they in different voices. And they don't want to stay safe. They say you change. Yeah, so that was the only bit that we kind of focused down and overdubbed. But the rest of it is literally just clips yeah. from those from that improvisation yeah so you got him to go through that again but you didn't get him to go through the deal with it again no he there's a bit I wish I could find it I, I, it's a, a more prepared just, person would yeah. have um, found no, but it. it's interesting isn't it how um, you didn't feel that was necessary D yeah he got it that was the point I think mm. it's like he there was this small bit where he's just saying deal with it deal with it deal with it like over and over again and I, that was enough to sort of construct a hook out of and I made this little um where is it? It's like this little synth. Yeah, here it is. That sort of um if I can get it to work. Oh, it's not playing any audio. Okay. <laughs> and that was kind of the start of like building the song into a song rather than just like some sort of um jam <laughs> yeah and was slow tie still there at that point when you were fiddling around with that yeah, yeah yeah i mean i'd love to play you like six versions that were developing across the week but I, like at the end of day one we had this which is basically the song all right, all give right, or take some right, polish right. walking i walk to the shop i bop and take it steady you can hear the, the can hear the small the like differences week. yeah Different verses as well, actually. Peaks when I look at these old pictures. Fighting with my sisters in the house. She's on the couch. She don't move much. I got tea in my hand and, and I'm, I'm trying, trying to do stuff. stuff. Dip in a biscuit. Because it, I mean, it really feels as if you are playing as he is performing. You no, know, it, it yeah. feels it has a kind of band feel to it in that in that way. That's you know. yeah. That's something I really wanted to protect. And like it only has a little bit of an effect on the final thing, but it just gives it that realness that mm. kind of a lot of electronic producers maybe miss or maybe are incapable of or don't give the thought to, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a, and it, it's almost that kind of effect of uh, a band playing live and being mixed live at the same time, say, as if Adrian Sherwood.